Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Ati Sarah, Sarah Natural Channel, channel for doing simple, simple, fun videos and just random videos, random fun videos that can be watched with everybody and anybody. And I'm really, really, really uh, focusing on the guys, what were Islanders, Island guys, what were ghetto, ghetto guys. I just, I'm doing this for you guys, uh, just to show you that it can be done, it can be done. You don't need to have high-end uh, chooms, you don't need to have all, all gadgets, you know, you just can go small. You can start small and build up and grow big. You can teach people using simple stuff, okay? So, before I get into it... If you are a subscriber right here, thank you very much for showing me love. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep keep liking and keep inviting others to subscribe because this is just being natural. No fakeness, no, you know, forcing, no copying, just being me. Because I realize that life is short and it is what it is. Just be you. Do you, be you, enjoy you, have fun with you. So my outfit today is just this t-shirt with my shorts, basically biker that is joined with the biker joined with the with the shorts inside. That is just what I want to wear today. I'm just being me. Me. I'm just being me. Being real. So my day today's topic is when we were growing up. I would want you guys to do, to describe down below how old you think I am because you're going to get shocked. You are going to be blown off, totally blown off. But let me get jump into right, jump into it, and uh, let's do this. So when we were growing up, it was not all that rosy and fun and all that because everybody was in your case. Everybody was in your face. Everybody had a niche on you. Everybody had pressure on you. Everybody expected too much from you. So, that made our life so really, really crazy and really, really, um, really, really pressurized. Where adults especially the aunties were and it personally i would really have this notion of i never wanted to go <coughs> where my aunties were they were strict they had high expectation for us guys they were disciplinar disciplinarians <coughs> and they just had pressure if you know what i mean if you went through the pressure Comment down below. <clears throat> Comment down below and let me know. These aunties, when they came to visit, <clears throat> it was a big thing. It was a big thing. It was a big do too. And so, <clears throat> they, when they came, it was just pressure for the young, uh, for for the young kids. Because some of them were just crazily strict. <clears throat> and by that, when they checked in, you checked out. You find, found out you found out a place where you could just go and stay and be at. For which you could it. Because as girls, you had to be there. You had to, had to cook, to clean up, and serve them. So you just had to face it. Face the pressure head on. What really made me um, to feel like these guys were just, ah, ah, <clears throat> who does that? Is when they walked in, and you know the, our, 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 our families were these huge families. You had like, you had like five kids or, or five, to, five to nine, ten kids. So now you're being called to come and be introduced and as you come to those living room or sitting room to be introduced with your parents 
<clears throat> or to be to just say to greet them it felt awkward it felt embarrassing it felt too much too much information that you never needed anybody to keep going at guys in case you feel you hear any noise behind the background just bear with me there are some some sort of construction going around the vicinity and this cup don't mind it's just mala i love mala so i was just taking mala and an idea came and yeah the rest are just books i love reading i just love reading but basically inspirational books uh and like i've been going at this i've been reading this it's awesome I just love it then I'm into journaling. I have like various journals. I just love writing. My thoughts on the day has been, my expectation goals and things like that. So, you came to the sitting room, there are six of you or the five of you or the ten of you. And you are arranged from <laughs> the first born to the last born. Like it was a staircase. The now introduction began and... Before even the introduction be begins, your aunties look, look at you and all of them at, at a go. It's like a chorus. It's like a folk song. They're all at it. And from my language, boy oh boy, it just sounded off. It sounded, lack of a better word, too, too, too much in your face. Too condescending. So they went like, oh, Sarah. You have grown, you're big, you, 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 they would talk about your private, your, your parts, your body parts, like all your chest has become big. And from my language, it sounds, uh, it sounds bad, it sounds yuck. It doesn't sound nice. It sounds like, Aish, you are too much in my bees. And at the back of my head, I would, I would be like, Okay, yes, I acknowledge I've grown. True. Um, things are taking shape. True. But, hello, did you expect me to remain a tiny small girl or a baby? No, I got to grow. So what's the big deal? So guys, if this affected you, just comment down below and just let me know your story. And I would really, really just love to put it into my language the way it sounded. It was just, yeah, who does that? They would go like, hey, uh, Mano Sarah, hmm? Tinde is say pong, hmm? Inyako maduong, i pong, i duong. Then they would pick on your parts, your, your body parts, and they would be like, it was just off, man. I felt embarrassed. I felt like, did we really have to go through with this? And my question is, am I the only one who went through this? Or there are so many others? And it was just so funny that it was only the girls who went through this. The girls. You become a woman. For the boys, it would just be polite. Hey, your voice is, has become big and deep. And you have the rules and you know, name it. That's it. That is not embarrassing. But why go out? Why go all out? For my chest, I didn't grow it. It just grows. Because God wanted me to grow. Why go at my, 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 my birth region and my, 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 my hips that don't lie and, you know, make me feel like it was wrong for me to become bigger and older. And uh, my encouragement to the young kids, the, 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 then we were, were we 12? We were 12. 14, 14, 15, 16, 17. And this thing would go all the way to maybe when you got to 
they got used to to you uh, growing up and having changes and all that. And um, I would just like to encourage the the generation of today. Let nobody make you feel like you shouldn't grow up. Let nobody make you feel uncomfortable and feel like um, it is wrong to grow. It is a blessing. It is a huge blessing because at the end of the day, you have turned into um, an older person and you have met so many milestones from when you were born to into your teen teenagehood and beyond your teenagehood. So be encouraged and I wouldn't blame my aunties and those, those guys of them, of that generation. Because maybe that was their only way of expressing themselves and expressing their gratitude. <laughs> by your developments and changes that you have gone through your physical your physical physical body and uh, I have nothing against them all I would just wished that it was done in another way but was there any other way that is what they were used to and that is what they had so that is just a story my story for today my encouragement let's grow these kids let's encourage them let's make them feel um worthy and and happy to have reached wherever they have reached so i hope you have really really enjoyed my story telling for today and um i hope that you will tune in for more and more and more because basically i would really really want to go into the the, the, the nitty-gritty of how my age group grew and the things that we bumped into and went through to where we to where to where I have gotten and we have gotten as per now and uh, and just appreciate appreciate growing up appreciate growing up because at the end of the day you can never ever turn the hand of time and rewind time it is gone it is gone so guys it is what it is keep sharing keep liking hit on the subscribe button it is free costs nothing and just keep glued on this youtube channel thank you so so much for the support for watching for liking for the comments god bless you this is Achi sarah and where i get this name from Achi sarah is just i love art i love art i love doing stuff with my hands just making stuff diy and name it you will see there's some videos already in this youtube channel you can see and yeah that is where the name came from Achi sarah and uh, I've combined it with the uh, Sarah Natural. So I hope you've enjoyed. From me, peace out. God bless you. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Artie Sarah, Sarah Natural channel. Channel for doing simple, simple, fun videos and just random videos. Random fun videos that can be watched with everybody and anybody and I'm really 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 uh, focusing on the guys what were Islanders, Island guys what were ghetto, ghetto guys I just I'm doing this for you guys uh, just to show you that it can be done it can be done you don't need to have high-end uh, tubes you don't need to have all all gadgets you know you just can go small you can start small and build up and grow big you can teach people using simple stuff okay so before i get into it if you are a subscriber right here thank you very much for showing me love keep liking keep subscribing keep keep liking and keep inviting others to subscribe because this is just being natural no thickness no you know, forcing, no coping, just being me.
because I realize that life is short and it is what it is. Just be you. Do you, be you, enjoy you, have fun with you. So my outfit today is just this t-shirt with my shorts. Basically biker that is joined with the biker joined with the with the shorts inside. That is just what I want to wear today. I'm just being me. Me. I'm just being me, being real. So my day today's topic is when we were growing up. I would want you guys to do, to describe down below how old you think I am because you're going to get shocked. You are going to be blown off, totally blown off. But let me get jump into right, jump into it, and uh, let's do this. So when we were growing up, it was not all that rosy and fun and all that because everybody was in your case. Everybody was in your face. Everybody had a niche on you. Everybody had pressure on you. Everybody expected too much from you. So, that made our life so really, really crazy and really, really, um, really, really pressurized. Where adults especially the aunties were and it personally i would really have this notion of i never wanted to go <laughs> where my aunties were they were strict they had high expectation for us guys they were disciplinarian disciplinarians <clears throat> and they just had pressure if you know what i mean if you went through the pressure Comment down below. <clears throat> Comment down below and let me know. These aunties, when they came to visit, <clears throat> it was a big thing. It was a big thing. It was a big do too. And so, <clears throat> they, when they came, it was just pressure for the young, uh, for for the young kids because some of them were just crazily strict <clears throat> and by that when they checked in you checked out you found out you found out a place where you could just go and stay and be at for which you could it because as girls you had to be there you had to had to cook and clean up and serve them so you just had to face it face the pressure head on what really made me um, to feel like these guys were just, ah, ah, <clears throat> who does that? Is when they walked in, and you know the, our, 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 our families were these huge families. You had like, you had like five kids or, or five, to, five to nine, ten kids. So now you're being called to come and be introduced and as you come to those living room or sitting room to be introduced with your parents <clears throat> or to be to just say to greet them it felt awkward it felt embarrassing it felt too much too much information that you never needed anybody to keep going at Guys, in case you feel you hear any noise behind the background, just bear with me. There are some some sort of construction going around the vicinity, and 